Spider-Man's mask, the thing people instantly recognize and say, that's Spider-Man! Of course, now people think this actually looks like Deadpool. Ugh. Why do these things have to happen? Anyway, in today's video, I'm going to be making Spider-Man's mask without spending a single cent, using only what I have at home because I'm a poor jobless teenager, just like Peter Parker, before he gets a job at the Daily Bugle. I will also not be using a sewing machine. Aunt May doesn't have one. She's all hip and says, why sew when you could just crochet? So this is where I say, who needs a sewing machine? I'll use hot glue, like the lazy teenager I am. So the first thing to do is to create your solid red color mask. You'll need to find some loose fabric laying around, but there needs to be enough to cover your face. You wouldn't want to have patches stuck together to be a mask, would you? I'm using the pants from an old Halloween costume my grandparents bought me. I'm sorry for finding out about this now, Grandma. So put the thing on your head. Make sure it comes down to your neck. After that, if you're happy with how it is, Draw where the top of your head is. Keep in mind, you want to have some space from your actual head, so you can attach the two parts of fabric later. You also want to have a curve when drawing the line, as your head is round, not boxy. After you're done drawing, you want to cut the thing, then hot glue it together. It's pretty simple, it's just a mask. Also keep in mind, you might want to hot glue the mask with the lenses inside out, because we're going to flip it outside in afterwards. To make it look more cleaner, I also cut the bottom part of my chin. See? Like that. Then you put on the mask and draw circles for where your eyes are. Also make sure your eyes are closed, I don't want you stabbing yourself. Then take it off and cut the holes for the mask. After that, do the lenses. Now the lenses are probably the hardest part when making Spider-Man's mask. For the lens frames, I'm just cutting some black fabric from my costume. There are a bunch of different designs you can choose. Bagley, Ditko. I tried to go for a John Romita look, and I kind of got that. Now for the lenses themselves. I want them to be white as opposed to reflective, as that's how they look in the comics, movies, video games, TV shows, and pretty much every other media out there about Spider-Man. To achieve this, I'm taking inspiration from The Amazing Spider-Man 2, as the lenses have a sort of white mesh to them. I was thinking of taking white thread to make a grid, but it was just too tedious. At the same time when I was making the mask, I was folding laundry, and I realized that those fabric softener sheets were perfect. I have no idea why no one has thought of this, or maybe they did, but all the other Spider-Man cosplay videos I've watched have never tried this. I was also thinking of putting sunglass lenses inside the mask, like behind the sheets, but I just could not see in the dim lit place that is my home. So I hot glued the softener sheets to the black fabric frames, both of which are cut of course, then glued the lenses to the mask. I was not wearing the mask of course when I decided to hot glue, but I did put on the mask to think about how I was going to place the lenses. After everything dried, I then put on the mask looked myself in the mirror, and made the web pattern using a sharpie. As you can see, the final product is very nice. I'm happy with how it turned out. I also have my own little suit I made too. I just took sharpie to a red t-shirt and red gloves that I made. And with all that done, you can finally suit up.
So yeah, as you can see, it's not perfect. The things that stick out are the chin and the head and kind of at the back of the head, there's this weird pointy thing. Plus, you can see my skin, but I made a Spider-Man mask without spending a single cent. If I was to spend some money, it probably would have looked better. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm officially on vacation as of this video, in case I don't reply back to your comments. I'll probably be back in August, but expect more videos in the coming weeks. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.